Eolus, or, in full, Atmospheric Dynamics Mission Eolus, is an Earth observation satellite built by Airbus Defence and Space that was launched on the 22nd of August 2018. ADM Eolus is the first satellite with equipment capable of performing global wind component profile observation and will provide much needed information to improve weather forecasting. EOLUS is the first satellite capable of observing what the winds are doing on Earth, from the surface of the planet and into the stratosphere 30 km high. The orbiter was named after EOLUS, a god from the Greek mythology, the ruler of the winds. Program <laughs> <laughs> The program was initially approved in 1999 for a 2007 launch but technological obstacles caused 11 years of delay, as it was launched on of August 2018. For an estimated €481 million, Euros $568 million program cost, it should provide 64,000 daily profiles from March or April 2019. Its altitude is a low 320 kilometers, 200 miles, for enough backscattered light sensibility, inducing a short 3.25 years life expectancy. Topic: <laughs> Mission EOLUS is the fifth planned satellite in the Living Planet program of the European Space Agency, ESA. The main goal of this mission is to further develop the knowledge of Earth's atmosphere and weather systems. By recording and monitoring the weather in different parts of the world, EOLUS will allow scientists to build complex weather models, which can then be used to help predict how that environment will behave in the future. These predictions will be useful in the short term, since they can be applied to numerical weather prediction in order to make forecasts more accurate. The mission will thus improve the knowledge of all sorts of weather phenomena, from global warming to the effects of air pollution. EOLUS is seen as a mission that will pave the way for future operational meteorological satellites dedicated to study Earth's wind profiles. <laughs> Satellite The spacecraft was built by Airbus Defence and Space. In 2014 integration of Aladdin instrument was completed and vacuum along with vibration testing begun. Status The satellite was launched on the 22nd of August 2018 and is now undergoing 3 months of testing before its data are included in weather models. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Scientific payload. The wind component profiles will be measured by the Atmospheric Laser Doppler Instrument Aladdin. Topic: Aladdin. The Aladdin instrument, atmospheric laser Doppler instrument, is a direct detection ultraviolet laser lidar consisting of three major elements: a transmitter, a combined Me and Rayleigh backscattering receiver assembly, and a Cassegrain telescope with a 1.5 meters (4.9 feet) diameter. The transmitter architecture is based on a 150 mJ pulsed diode pumped ND, YAG laser, frequency tripled to provide 60 mJ pulses of ultraviolet light at 355 nm. This frequency was chosen because of the increased Rayleigh scattering in the ultraviolet region of the spectrum, and because it is I safe at distances greater than several hundred meters. The Mi receiver consists of a Fizeau interferometer with a resolution of 100 MHz equivalent to 18 meters per second. 
The received backscatter signal produces a linear fringe whose position is directly linked to the wind velocity. The wind speed is determined by the fringe centroid position to better than a tenth of the resolution, 1.8 meters per second. The Rayleigh receiver employs a dual filter Fabry Perot interferometer with a 2 GHz resolution and 5 GHz spacing. It analyzes the wings of the Rayleigh spectrum with a CCD. The etalon is split into two zones, which are imaged separately on the detector. The lidar is aimed 35 degrees from nadir and 90 degrees to the satellite track on the side away from the sun. The processing of the backscatter signals will produce line of sight wind component profiles above thick clouds or down to the surface in clear air along the satellite track every 200 kilometers, 120 miles. Wind information in thin cloud or at the tops of thick clouds is also attainable. From the data processing, information on other elements like clouds and aerosols can also be extracted. The data will be disseminated to the main numerical weather prediction centers in near real time. Development of the Aladdin instrument has been problematic. The ultraviolet laser was causing damage to the optical surfaces in a vacuum. ESA scientists asked NASA for support, however NASA has minimal experience with lidar of this design. Technology required for the satellite was pushing the technology envelope, therefore after problematic development ESA asked Airbus to perform additional full model tests in a vacuum before continuing mission development. Overall complications involved in the instrument caused an estimated 50% final cost overrun, so ESA had to come up with additional funding for the project. <laughs> <laughs> Launch Aeolus was designed to be compatible with many small capacity launch vehicles such as Vega, Rocco or DNEPR. In November 2013 ESA scheduled the launch on a Vega in one of the five flights of the VERTA program, but in 2015 launch was postponed to August 2018 due to problems with their LADAR development. A €32.57 million Euros launch contract with Arianespace was signed on 7 September 2016. The launch finally took place on of August 2018 on a Vega rocket from French Guiana at 18.20 local time. See also ESA's Living Planet Program, Cryosar and CRYOSAT-2 Earthcare GOCE Soil Moisture and Ocean Salinity Satellite Swarm